Hello, today we are going to sketch an electric panel housing and we are going to use sheet metal commands. We'll start to sketch on front plane. We'll make for first one center rectangle. We'll add few dimension. 500 and here we need 700. Then we are going in sheet metal base flange tab 2 millimeters band detection 3.57 we'll we'll leave this rectangle here we we can add 1 millimeter and i will change the direction of the part click okay the next thing that we are going to do is edge flange we'll select these four edges Here we will use tangent bed and here we will use material inside. We need here 200 millimeters. The other things are okay. And click OK. And the next thing that we are going to do is to use closed corner. We need here 0.1 with one millimeter and we'll use overlap select these two then these two here then we need these two and for and this two. always make sure the, the longer side to be more longer so here is OK, OK, here is also OK, but here I have problem. So I will delete this side here and I will select one more time these two. Click OK. The next command is edge flange. Uh, we will select first the longer sides. Then the other. We need here 20 and the other commands are OK. Click OK. Repeat the same command for these things here, for these edges. So 20. Also add this here. Then this one and this one. Click OK. Oops, sorry, I, I have to, to change the direction. So change bend direction. The other things are OK. So just uh, here we can change the relief type. It can be tier also or up around for these things here. I want it to be re rectangle now. Click OK. This should be two millimeters and it's enough. And again, same command one more time. Ten millimeters in this edge. Then I need this here and this one. Just make it ten millimeters. The others stay like before. Click OK. We can save the document and we can check of let an option work. In our case, everything is OK. Make it back. Now I need to make few holes. For that thing, I need to make one section view. I will drag this thing till here. 
then I will start a new sketch on this surface here. I will make center line. Then three circles. Fifteen. Fifteen. Four point two. Make them equal. And from here to here, we need two hundred twenty three and from here till here we need to make them vertical then mirror extrude cut 10 millimeters is enough. Click OK. Turn off section view. We have to sketch a few holes on bottom. And I will make for first one center line. Then the other one. From here to here we need 80 and we are going to make 8 holes. This will be 15, these two, then the, these two will be 20. Well, 24 equal and 33 from here to here to here we need 75 and between the holes we need 50. fifty Extrude cut 10 millimeters, click OK. Save the document and uh, open a new part. Start new sketch on front plane, rectangle 500, 700. Then we are going in sheet metal. 3.57 is okay, 2 millimeters. Direction is also okay, click OK. The next thing is uh, edge flange, then we'll select these four edges we need 20 then we need tangent bend and of course we need material inside check the direction and click ok I will Correct the edges here. So I need close it corner. Point one is okay. One and then I select this here. Always first select the length longer side. Then this here. This here. And this here. Click OK. 
now we'll sketch on this surface here one rectangle it will be 350 and 500 here then I will make fillet 20 and click OK extrude cut through all OK and one more last thing we'll sketch on this surface here I will make three circles they have to be vertical smart dimension 4.2 make this tree equal 4.5 between them we need 15 and from here to the center we need 223 create one center line select everything mirror go in future extrude cut 10 millimeters is enough and just click OK save this part go and create new part start to sketch on front plane we'll make one circle first it will be 6 millimeter diameter then we need a few lines delete this make these two tangent also these two then we'll make this here vertical this has to be three millimeters From here to here we need 15, but we'll change this, we need maximum. So 15, and this here is 3 millimeters. Then extend this to here, use trim, one more time circle, and smart dimension. 3 millimeters. Go in future, extrude both base 25, 25, click OK. Now I will sketch on this surface here. These two will be collinear then we need here 12.5 12.5 these two equal and the last dimension 5.2 extrude cut through all click ok now I will go in the future then we need whole wizard we'll make counter bore then here we need three millimeters here we need six and this will be 0.5 position one two three i will add few dimension now from here to here we need 10 millimeters then I need one center line. Make this here coincident, and the other will be vertical. Then I will add one dimension between these two, 
and from here to here we need 15. Click OK. I will just edit this counterbore. Yes, it is M5 and here we need 4.2 millimeters. Click OK. Also one more thing. This here will be 6.5. Click OK. Save the document. Open the first part. Now go in assembly mode. We'll add first this part. Then go in assembly. Insert component 3. add one copy from this here I will make these two holes made click OK then I will make this surface here and this surface here click OK and I will make this surface here with this surface here this hole with this one and this hole with this one click OK then I will add one more part we need part 2 make this here with this here and also this here with this here and this two from this and this part we can make linear component pattern for direction we will use this here two times we need 223 multiplication two change the direction make sure that everything is fine and click ok We can check if everything works without collision, move component, physical debunk, and everything is just fine. It can open to here and close the hallway. Click OK. Uh, next Monday we'll continue to design this electric panel and uh, the next things will be the electric components and stay tuned, subscribe, see ya!